Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome back to the Five Minute Econometrics, a tutorial on the basic econometric concepts and estimation methods. Today we will examine two matrices used in the OLS regression. They are the projection matrix and the residual maker matrix. They can help us better understand the OLS regression method. We start with the OLS estimator in the matrix form. We first write the population model. Please check out the previous topic about the matrix form of the model. The population model is y equals x multiplied by beta plus epsilon. The explanatory variable matrix x is n by k plus 1. y and epsilon are n by 1 column vectors. The population parameter beta is a k plus 1 by 1 column vector. The sample estimate for the population model is the regression model. It can be expressed as y equals x multiplied by beta hat plus epsilon hat. The beta hat is the OLS estimator of the population parameter beta. Epsilon hat is the residual. It is the estimate of the error term epsilon. The first part is the fitted value y hat and the second part is the residual. The OLS is an estimation method in which the solution beta hat minimizes the sum of squared residuals. The first order condition for minimization is that the derivative with respect to beta hat equals zero. Note that the middle two terms are the same because they are scalars and the transpose of a scalar is itself. We then use the vector derivatives rules. Finally, the first order condition leads to the least squares normal equation. If the explanatory variable matrix X is full column rank, then the inverse of X prime times X exists. The solution is as follows. The OLS estimator is written in matrix form. Now we return to the regression model. Substitute beta hat with its matrix form solution. Define a matrix P. The fitted value y hat equals y pre multiplied by P. Define another matrix M. The residual epsilon hat equals y pre multiplied by M. The matrix P is formed from X. P is called the projection matrix because when the outcome variable Y is pre-multiplied by P, the result is the fitted values in the OLS regression of Y on X. It is also the projection of the vector Y into the column space of X. The matrix M is also formed from X. M is called the residual maker matrix because when M pre-multiplies the outcome variable Y, the result is the residuals in the OLS regression of Y on X. We can express the regression model as the sum of projection and residual using the projection matrix and the residual maker matrix. There are some useful properties of the two matrices. They are symmetric and idempotent.
Simple algebra shows that x pre-multiplied by p equals x. It means the projection of x on x space is itself. x pre-multiplied by m equals 0. This means the residual from the regression of x on x is 0. We can show that m and p are orthogonal. Now we know that the OLS estimation method divides the outcome variable y into two parts, the projection and the residual. We have already used the residual maker matrix when we discussed the fridge wa lavelle theorem and the partialing out implementation of the OLS estimator in multiple regression. Please find the link below to the related videos. And thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on the next topic. Take care. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.